all right y'all i am back with another video and it has still been a while since i did my last video i can tell you guys that i have been dealing with art block um still wrapping things up with the oddly comic and it has got a bit frustrating um with um trying to make sure different dimensions are right i've sent everything off and just having to redo certain things and then send it off again and it has just got it has just gotten a bit frustrating but i definitely was just so shocked with the people that have pre-ordered um you guys we are literally in the end i am just waiting for them to send me another proof i am so sorry for the delay um, but there has been quite a few of you who have um pre-ordered the Ali comic and i am just beyond excited that you guys are just um so excited about it with me that you have pre-ordered it okay like that is so lit um i definitely want to give a shout out to one of my subscribers brianna and i'm hoping i'm saying it right because it could be said brianna or brianna but y'all she pre-ordered two copies okay like listen if that's not everything then what is okay so i definitely have to give her a shout out thank you girl that is like so much support is just crazy but um y'all it is like we're literally getting right to the end i have my stickers i have everything and i'm so ready to show it to you guys so um we should definitely be wrapping the rest of that up um this week and i'm just so ready y'all i'm like i'm just ready to hold it in my hand i'm just I'm so impatient. That's probably what it is. But I want to make sure that it's perfect for you guys. I don't want um, there to be, you know, anything. I don't want to put out anything sloppy. I think that is pretty much what it is um, with me. Like, I really want you guys to just really enjoy it. Um, and there isn't um, a whole bunch of hiccups in it or, you know, different things that went wrong. But, um, yeah, so that's to give you guys, like, an update on what's going on with the Oddly Comic. Um also i hit a a big art block y'all and i think it's really just because there was so much work put into um finishing the oddly comic making sure everything was right that it really just took my art spirit away from me for a bit because that was what i just was obsessed with um but i can say like last night i really started doodling and actually y'all i have recorded um quite a few videos but i just i haven't put them i haven't uploaded them because they were not the best they you know they just were not they just were not it for me like i really wasn't feeling it and i was like i'm not just gonna put out any kind of video just to say i i, up, I uploaded a video you know what i'm saying so um i i definitely i i deleted them and i was like you know what i'm just going to you know just have to wait until I can feel it coming back. And last night, y'all, I was on it. Um, I literally was just, I was sketching and I actually did a redraw of this, um, the girl that's on the right. So I drew her previously in this, y'all. I am drawing in the render sketchbook and I wanted to do like a redraw of her and I wanted to give her like a twin. And so um, they are in the apocalypse era you know where you have to fight for the death and i wanted them to look like some really you know bad asses like two twins that are just you know they have their weapons and they're just real badass so i wanted their haircuts and everything to just be really choppy um i guess in a futuristic kind of way um but i really like how they came out um I can tell you guys that from me going doing so much work digitally and then going back to paper and pencil it's been it's been a job I'll say that because you have to get used to um, doing your line art again for me I wonder if that has been strange for anybody else y'all let me know in the comments um, when you first learned how to do digital art but for me um, I've had a time <laughs> with making sure that my line art is still perfect because I can't just fix it 
you know, with a button. You know what I'm saying? So, um, my line art came out really, really good with this and I really loved it. But as I started rendering this sketch, um, I don't like this sketchbook, y'all. Like, I could not blend for anything on this paper for some reason. And I've used it a few times before, as you guys know. But for some reason, as I was blending, I found it very hard. It's like the paper, whatever they're making so that the paper, so that the ink doesn't bleed through to the next page, it affects, it affects how you um, can lay down your marker and the blending like it definitely affects it and i remember i remember a few reviews on this sketchbook where people were saying that but i wanted to see for myself and so yeah like i literally found out as i was doing this um recording this video like i literally found out because by the end i just really did not like how my markers were laying and i definitely plan on bringing this to life um on my iPad because I just feel like my line art came out so good. I love how they came out, but listen, the markers, the, you know, the, I just, it was not doing it for me y'all. Like it really wasn't. I still wanted to share this with you guys because I still love them. I feel like they came out nice. And after it was done, it was okay. I, I'm not going to say it was my best work, but it still wasn't that bad that I couldn't share it with you guys. But I'm definitely going to go and do it um, digitally for sure. Because listen, honey, these markers were not it on in this render sketchbook. So for anyone that is thinking about buying it, I don't know, y'all. I probably would definitely um, refer you to other sketchbooks. I would definitely recommend you to a few other ones because this sketchbook the way that it handles these markers I was not a fan like I was not a fan at all and I think what it is is now that I'm like I'm sort of using it a bit more I'm just not a big fan of it and I think that's really what it is um so I don't know if I'll see myself buying another one of these in the future because I use markers that is like my my number one medium for me and so if it really can't take well with the markers then I mean what's the need so anyway back to these twins so I wanted to draw something that was not in my um in my oddly art style I wanted to give it a break a bit I wanted to just draw something um different a different type of character um it definitely was refreshing but um i hadn't given them names i thought of like ava from one and then i don't know for the other but they each have their different skill set um that complements each one of them so that as a whole they're like just some girls you really don't want to bother you really don't want to mess with and so i know that when i redo this i know i'm definitely going to choose different colors because this blue was just entirely too bright if they're going through or they're living in an apocalypse time period then i mean these pants look brand new out fresh out of the store honey because that color is just too bright and too vivid and it just doesn't really go um, I feel like my twin that's on the left, like she, her color palette was just a bit more um, with the time and what colors I feel like people would be in. And that's like faded colors of like grays and greens, um, just faded completely. You know what I'm saying? And so sis that's on the right, she just was a little bit too bright, honey. Um, I did try to mute her down a bit. Um, and was just like, you know what? I'm just going to play with it. This is just an exercise. Like, I'm not going to take it. I'm not, it's not, I'm not going to make it too deep. Okay. Listen, I'm not going to make it too deep, but yeah, I wish I would have picked some darker muted colors for sis on the right. Um, but I do, I can't wait to just redo this y'all. Like I really cannot, I can't. But, um, yes. So, um, to touch on my art block. I really believe that, because I'm just going to chat through this video, y'all. I haven't talked to y'all in forever, so, like, I just want to chat with y'all. I want to talk with you guys. I have to share. Um, but I have really just 
it has been a time just trying to sit down and just draw without feeling like it's work, without feeling like I have a deadline I have to meet. And I believe it all comes from, um, you know, working and finally finishing the, the comic. It was fun to make, but it definitely became like a job. Please excuse the voices that you hear in the back. Okay, I am hauled in. I am like hauled up in the closet trying to record and listen. It still is not working. Okay, but anyway, y'all, um, it definitely was affecting me, and I was feeling so sad because I, first of all, there have just been so many more of you that have subscribed and listen. If you have not subscribed yet, like listen, I promise y'all, I'm going to be making more frequent videos. And welcome to the YouTube family. Our YouTube family is small, but listen, we are lit over here, okay? But I felt so bad about not being, you know, putting out um, any content. And it really was making me just feel so down and sad because we have just come. I've watched my my channel just come from so little to what we are now. And I definitely didn't want to let you guys down at all. Um, but I definitely was going through a major art, bro art block, excuse me, and I'm so glad that I'm out of it and I'm just feeling more inspiration. And I think that once I have my comic in my hand after all of the issues that I've been going through, I feel like I'm going to feel so much better, so accomplished I just can't wait and I'm so ready to share it with you guys like you guys have literally been right in it with me so um I just thank you guys for just loving them as much as I love them and I just I can't wait to hear the feedback from the comic I am so so ready I am I really am y'all but yes I think okay so yes that is what I was dealing with art block wise let me see what else have I gone had going on okay so y'all I fell in love with Shira. I really really did and listen I feel like I want to rewatch the whole series again like I love it that much like I really just want to sit and just rewatch it all over again uh, I'm just I think I'm gonna do it I hadn't started it yet but I feel like there's probably different episodes I may have fell asleep on and didn't replay and I can go back and watch them and it'll be stuff that I may have missed. And I think I'm going to do it. I really think I am. I think that was something I've been wanting to share with you guys too. But listen, I don't have too much else to share. Um, I definitely wanted to give you guys an update. Definitely wanted to talk to you guys. Definitely just wanted you guys to hear from me because I have missed y'all and I hope y'all have missed me. But anyway, y'all, listen, that is it for today. I am definitely, literally, as we as we are, as we are speaking, thinking of another video to do so that um, I can have another video to drop so I can sort of get back on my same pace that I was on before or at least the minimum of at least two or three videos a week. I have to get back to that. That is what the plan is. Um so I will see you guys in, in the next video. Like, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys enjoy the sisters. Drop some names in the comments. You know, y'all give me a scenario. Give me a little storyline or whatever. Because y'all are so bomb with them. Like, why not give it to me, okay? I will see y'all in the comments, all right? And I will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.